Over the years that I've been doing this YouTube channel, I've been contacted by numerous riders who are heading out on their first tour. And one of the questions they have is, what are the things that I do to go about securing my bike when I'm on the road? So given that I've had so much interest in this topic, when I was contacted by a company called Motolatch to review their brake lock system, I thought, well, maybe this is one of those rare instances where I would let them go ahead and send me a product and I would take a look at it because I think that it might be of interest to many of you out there. In the past, I have used products like this. This is a disc lock, right? It attaches to the rotor of your bike, front or rear. And then when someone tries to move the bike, well, this prevents them from moving it forward, well, at least very far. On the other hand, this product from Moto Latch, it attaches to your throttle and to your front brake, clamping that brake down and preventing any motion in the bike. When traveling on bikes like my WR250 here, or even my Yamaha Super Tenere, being able to immobilize the bike, well, that gives me a lot greater peace of mind. When I'm on my BMW, you know, a nearly 800 pound motorcycle, well, I know they're probably not gonna move that too far. But if I'm on a 300 pound motorcycle like the WR, well, I know it's gonna be very easy for people to move that bike around. So being able to lock that front brake and immobilize the bike, again, just gives me a lot more peace of mind. So a quick demonstration of how this works. So you're gonna open the lock like so. You can take the key, turn it to the left, remove the key. All right, that's gonna get the spring-loaded mechanism here and the lock post ready to go. Now you're gonna slip the lock over the brake and then clamp that down until you hear a little click. Push that in and now your bike is all secure and the front wheel can't turn. To remove the lock, of course, you just reverse that process. You open the key, remove the lock. In comparing these two locks, the thing that I like better about the disc lock is that it does have a built-in alarm to it. What I like better about the handlebar lock is that, well, it's up on your handlebars and on your front brake. I don't have to bend down to put this one on. In fact, many of the times my problem with this lock is that I just forget that it's on there. I put it on at night and then I come out in the morning and I try to start my bike and it won't move because I've got this on. And while I know that there's this little orange wire that you can attach down to it and up to your handlebar to remind you, well, I don't carry that because I don't want to carry junk like that around with me. All right, so this one is much simpler, right? It's going to be up on my handlebar, right on my brake. I'm going to be able to notice it. I'm going to be able to take it off uh, much easier than I can with this one. So another thing that I do like about this lock here, uh, the Moto Latch, is that it is lighter, actually. It looks bulkier, it looks beefier, but in reality, it's probably a quarter to a half a pound lighter than this disc lock. This lock from Moto Latch also comes with some little rubber grommets here that will help to customize the fit of your lock, again, to your particular brake lever and throttle setup. For me, I think what I'm gonna do is use this one here, as you see that I've installed it, and uh, then I'm just gonna go with nothing here to give me the uh, widest variety of fit for the different bikes that I have. If you do wanna customize it, there's a little slot that you simply put these little rubber pieces in there. And there is uh, some double-sided tape on the back of them. You can see that here. Uh, but it's just a tiny little piece, so what I'm going to do uh, when I put this in here permanently is I'm going to take some larger piece of double-sided tape that I have and use it to attach. All right, so that is a little bit of a minus for this. I think that they should do a better job with that tape that keeps these said little rubber uh, fit pieces in place. So that's pretty much it for this lock. It's easy to use. It's well made. It seems like it's going to be nice and secure. Uh, it's relatively lightweight for what it is and it's going to fit easily in my tank bag. Now all I have to do is take it out and live with it for a little while. 
So we're gonna do that when we take this WR250 out on a four day trip later on this week. Good morning. So I thought we would finish off this video with uh, showing you how I'm actually using this new lock uh, and keeping the bike safe. And give you a couple of tips on uh, basically what I do to keep the bike safe. And the first one is where you park the thing. So, and to me, that's the biggest thing about keeping your bike safe. It's not whether you have a lock on it or whether you have it covered. It is where you choose to park the bike. Right, right here, we're at a Hampton Inn, so it's a nice hotel. They let us park the bike underneath the covered awning. And if you ask them nicely, uh, typically most places will let you do that. Again, some will not. So it's not critical. You usually have a lighted parking lot with security cameras and so forth around. So that's gonna be the biggest thing on keeping your bike safe is again, choosing where you park it. And the second thing is taking a cover with you, right? Most crime is just crime of opportunity, right? So if you've got your bike covered, basically out of sight, out of mind, that goes a long way in keeping people with walking by and messing with things that might be sitting on your bike. And of course, the last thing you can do is to put a lock on the bike. And in this particular case, we are testing out this lock from Moto Latch, and it's a handlebar lock, and it works very nicely, very easily. The bike is all locked up, and it's not gonna be rolled anywhere. If you like the looks of this lock like I do and you're interested in checking one out, well, you can go to my website at www.livingofftheslab.com and in the blog articles, I'll have a write-up on this video with all of the information on where you can purchase this lock.